I think we should uh, <laughs> I think we should actually go around and introduce ourselves. You know, my name is Josh, I'm organizer for Detroit Fist. You know, anybody wants to speak out, you know, as part of the Fist Detroit chapter, you know, you can say your name, you know, what's your passion at the bottom, whatever. Hey everybody, how you guys doing? Uh, I'm Cisco. A friend of Josh. A friend of Josh, this is my second time coming to this meeting. Uh, just basically filling it out, you know, see what really is going on and what really the struggle is, you know, especially for the workers' world. From what I'm understanding, it's kind of hard out here. This is, I've only been out on the streets for about two and a half weeks. I'm out the penitentiary, so. Mm -hmm. That's basically about it. To be continued. <laughs> my name Robert, and um, my name Robert, no, when I'm on the street, my name Robert, um, what I like about the program FIST is, like she was saying, about sitting around talking about it, about, yeah, let's do this, let's do that. Like she said, let's start going around people we can help, did favors for, and stuff. If I can, if I can help them, well, they can listen to me and, you know, come together and help. It's people in my neighborhood that run around doing stuff that don't really, they don't have, don't make no sense. I figure if I go to them, talk to them, let them know about the program, and um, tell them, you know, I know something else you can do with your time, and then they'll just be walking up and down the streets, getting yourself into some mess. Because I don't, I don't hang around people that get into mess. So... I mean, not looking down on nobody like that, but just trying to let them know, you know, like she was saying, if they 12, whatever, all the way up until 35, you know, I don't want to see you out here doing this, don't want to see you out here doing this, so, um, you know, let, let's go try to do something positive, like you said, clean up some parks, let's go walk up and down the street and, you know, just, if, if you had to, it sounds strange, but watch out for people. You know, watch out for people. It's, you, most of the time, we out here beating our own people up. <laughs> but while you're doing that, you can be trying to stop somebody else from knocking an old lady down trying to take her purse. So, it, you know, I figure like this, do something positive. If you don't do nothing, every day but just pick up a piece of paper off the floor if you're doing something positive that's better than throwing it on throwing it it's like throwing trash in your house and you gotta sleep that's it i'm kevin carey and i'm a workers Pro party member also i'm the executive director of the Detroit people's task force uh let's reiterate what this young man was talking about um, we're going to get into different programs in the year coming, and one of the programs will be court, court watching because a lot of these uh, and youth people, young people, get involved in this too. Because there's been a lot of uh, cases that come our way where the Detroit Crime Lab is had errors that have uh, framed a lot of these brothers and sisters out here. And also, we're going to get into crime prevention, but also, I want to make mention that on September 26th. We're going to have a Youth Awareness Day. You know, actually, it's going to be um, a Stop the Violence March. And a lot of the young kids have been getting involved into violence because the simple fact is, you know, you're unemployed, living in poverty, but right. have been a mouse in a maze. Idle time. You know, you so like there's a lot of pressure, and so you want to release that pressure some way. And unfortunately, they release it the wrong way. But some of them, I don't know, I don't know what type of all of them. But, you know, getting involved in different activities is a way that they can contact that. You know, so inviting people out, you know, all of y'all to this uh, function that we're going to have uh, coming this September. My name is Sandra Hines, and I, I just wanted to ask if you, since this is your second meeting, and I'm sure um, you took a lot of thought to put the program together and decide to choose Detroit as a city to 
to start the organization. Um, have you thought anything about um, urban gardening as a means for an economic base for the group? You know, possibly, you know, declaring a, a vacant lot, you know, cultivating it and planting and then harvesting the, the food and, you know, giving it back to the community for, you know, a reasonable um, economical um, price and maybe even get, a, you know, a little money for the organization and possibly put people to work. Um, so I'm just throwing that out as a suggestion. I mean, you know, as of ways that the group could maybe think about, you know, um, being involved, actually doing something tangible in the community where people can see it, um, employing youth to plant and, and cultivate the crops and what have you, and then, you know, um, giving a service to the community where you people can come and pay a discounted price and that, that they would from you know, cheaper than they would at the market or whatever, right in their own neighborhood, as a way to not only, and then to recruit as well, recruit, you know, have work, and also, you know, build, you know, some kind of um, economic base for the organization. Just tossing it out. I think it's, I think it's definitely a possibility. I know a couple comrades and I are very excited about the spring and we're going to have a small herb garden and a vegetable garden uh, right out back on uh, the roof. Uh, and we're going to throw some uh, vegetarian barbecues, you know, where we'll fry up and uh, barbecue some vegetables. And uh, we're definitely going to uh, bring some food down to Cass Park, which is right back behind uh, the Fist and uh, uh, Headquarters Workers World Bookstore. And uh, feed the people over there. You know, I'm... I'm really excited about that. I'm definitely open to. Uh, I'm definitely open to that. You know, Detroit has a few different uh, urban gardens going on. You know, uh, where people just uh, took over vacant lots. You know, that are owned by agency <coughs> landlords, and uh, started gardening. So I think that's uh, that that aspect, that green aspect, that environmentalist aspect, and that you know. Uh, Really, that's I mean that feed the people that that has a that that has a pretty good uh, message that resonate well with the churches over here. And well, churches what did you guys do, our institutions. Um, Larry? When y'all started um, your organization, how did you guys generate uh, income and put the youth to work? Where you when you got started, what did you guys do? Well, we didn't really because Fist was born out of um, New York during the Republican National Convention which is where it actually started, in resistance to the convention coming to town. Um, and at that time, there were hundreds of thousands of people that protested the convention. Um, and there was a massive police. I mean, there's over 50,000 cops in New York City. You know, the, the police force in New York City is bigger than the military in a lot of countries, you know, and billions of dollars were spent. So FIS was, was born, and that, the reason I say that is because FIS was born in the struggle, and, you know, when it, when it left, when people left New York to go back to the areas, then it picked up in North Carolina, where they have roots in the community. They work with Black Workers for Justice and Black Workers League, and actually just got an award for Black Workers for Justice for a lot of the community work they did. You know, they actually, and they also drove off Tom Tancredo, the racist from Colorado, who uh, anti-immigrants, anti-indigenous, just about everything you think of. You know, he just he's a racist. You know, pathologically racist human being. And he tried to have an anti-immigrant meeting by this group called Youth for Western Civilization. If anybody sees a group called Youth for Western Civilization on campus, and you're an anti-racist, your job is to drive them off campus because they are an explicitly white supremacist organization, and they have and they are on campuses around the country. Um, so what around you know as we developed around the country, we didn't you know our resources generally came from people that were part of Fist, and they paid for things. But now what we're doing is we have a paper coming out that'll be ready for the G20 summit in Pittsburgh. Um, this publication is actually going to be, you know, we're working on having a theoretical but also artistic magazine that will be coming out. We have a book coming out called What Is Marxism All About? that'll be out in the fall or, or, or um, uh, winter. Josh is going to work on making t-shirts for, for Fist. Right. I'm not going to